Right, so uh, we have Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and uh, Leo Rising career and relationship for um, July 20th to 26th. And uh, let's uh, shuffle the cards and move to the career for the career reading first. So the first card for Leo, that will be the uh, Queen of Pentacles, <clears throat> Pentacles. Moving next, we have the Ace of Swords, uh, followed by the King of Swords. And the last one, that will be the Knight of Cups, like that in terms of career. So um, Leo, that will be a week where uh, you are to find yourself quite uh, surprised in terms of the potential that you are disregarding by that time when it comes to a career unfoldment but before we go to that let's run the cards one more time so we do have the queen of pentacles first followed by the ace of swords after that is going to be the king of swords and the last one here that will be uh, the uh, knight of cups so uh, a very valid reading for those who are feeling very um underappreciated in terms of their current career. Uh, the King of Swords does represent here in this reading a, a personality or rather like a personnel. It could be a co-worker or your supervisor or your boss that is going to validate a certain statements. And those are to be the statements that uh, if you are not getting as far as you want to be, it is that uh, you are underperforming or you are not meeting the expectations of uh, of those around so what is going to be really the or not of those around but of those that are assessing you so because we do have the, the queen of pentacles at the start of the reading that is uh, that refers to developing the potentials that are here to fore and explored by you which means that you haven't done yet everything you could have in regards to your current projects, situations, uh, corporations, and so on and so forth within uh, the career field that you are working at. Now, I'm sorry that I'm going to burst your bubble here if that's the case, because everybody is expecting, you know, that they're doing the best they can. And if they're not seeing any progress, that is because they are getting deprived by the job itself. That's not the case here. I mean, you are the one who is depriving yourself for one or another reason. And uh, the majority of the, just um, let me muffle the voice of my computer. So the majority of that comes from the Ace of Swords, which is on the second position. And when that card falls there, it's kind of like uh, you, does not, you do not have the, um, I would say you're focused on wrong things because the harsh way to say it is like that you are out of the reality with what the demands of the company you're working at are. And that could be as well the case. But let's say that you lack the accurate assessment of the diagnosis around. And in some extreme cases for you, that card may point that you do not have what it takes in terms of a mental and spiritual strength, or you're way too emotional and you do budge way too much under pressure. And the job involves where you need to withstand the pressure. And if that's the case, well, then it's obvious that you will have to pretty much quit the job and find yourself another one. But what we do have ultimately here by the end, uh, it is that should you um, boost your mental awareness, you do acknowledge that uh, you do not have any progress there. It is because you are not making the most out of the situations you are in and uh, as well that you are underperforming yourself. Once you do boost your performance, you are going to start seeing the results of that boost of your performance because working under the energy of the Knight of Cups, it is always you get rewarded for the job you do. Nothing is left by the chance. People take things because they can't take them. They can, K-A-N, take them or C-A, and to take them and not to those that are righteously deserve them okay so that being said you work to the bone of your feet and you get a progression you do slack or then you don't get any progression okay so it's all within your hands those that are looking for a job uh, with those cards 
uh, they may get a second offer. What I mean is that uh, they they may have tried with a company. Okay, that company may have denied them a few weeks ago or a month ago, and now that company is gonna call them for a, a second chance. So it does ref it does refer to a place that you already tried for one or another reason, things did not work out there, and now for you, uh, you get a second chance to try there as, uh, again. So that was about uh, career, probably not the things you wanna hear, but it is what it is with the cards. It is uh, literally, you know, they point that you, if you are not seeing progression, it is because you are underperforming yourself and pretty much people around you see that. And that's why they're not giving you a chance. So let's uh, have a look what we do have in terms of a relationship, hopefully more favorable. So the first one here is going to be the tower. Moving next, we do have, wow, the six of swords. After that is going to be the eight of wands. And uh, the last one is going to be the three of cups. So without a doubt, we are talking about some kind of a, uh, for those who are single, especially um, some kind of a crush that you are going to have that is should be single. Now, those that are in current relationship moving forward, um, that could speak for a pregnancy, okay? You may find yourself being pregnant. Why? Well, because we do have the tower at the start and it, it kind of like works very well with the, eight of, uh, with the eight of wands, which is on the third position of the spread. And when we do have such, a, um, such an alignment of the cards, it means that uh, something out of the blue, very, very unexpected is going to happen that you, all, that, that you are completely unprepared for and bursts your plan. It's kind of like decimates your plan, your plans whatsoever. And under that decimating your plans whatsoever, take you are single and you are falling for somebody, but suddenly someone else appears and you have a crush over that somebody else. So that is completely unexpected and ruins your plans. Okay, you're getting yourself pregnant without expecting it, without anticipating it. That ruins your plans as well, whatsoever. So uh, at the start, it's going to appear itself in a very unpleasant symptoms. I mean, you would hate what it is happening to you. That is in terms of ongoing relationship or in terms of a uh, being single. But the more you reside within this thing, okay, the more you think about it, the more you're gonna find that it happens for a reason. And that reason itself, it is so you can rebuild your relationship life around that thing. And once you do it around that enterprise, and once you do it, it will have cleansing and nurturing effect over uh, over your relationship life. So going by the newly found crush is going to be far better than going with the current person of interest. Going by, for example, the pregnancy is going to make your relationship far better than being just you and your partner. OK, so the more you think about it, the more you are going to identify that that is actually the opportunity you needed in order to stir your uh, love and relationship life a moving forward. Now, on another hand here, we do have the six of swords into the second position, which points that it will be very difficult for you to uh, find the reason why you should keep up with the enterprise itself and i'm meaning that's completely unforeseeable and shocking enterprise that it is to happen to you within your love life well in reality there is nothing for you to be afraid of that is just a uh, once you go by with it uh, the, this is where you do make the brave attempts or rather like the brave actions to uh, improve your circumstances in relationship life drastically okay and finally, here with uh, the Three of Cups at the end of the reading, that is where uh, the very least, and I mean the very least, it is where people will age you emotionally, the very least, okay? But uh, at the end of the day, Three of Cups it is when you see a positive result of your actions. So yeah, I mean, you may kind of like have to endure what happens to you um, from the, uh, how do you say it? in a disadvantageous, I would say it that way, position. 
but that will quickly go into change as the week progresses and by the end of the week actually you're going to see a positive results out of that thing happening out of your new crash out of your new circumstances in the relationship you know and out of for example the unplanned pregnancy you do had and so on and so forth so yeah i mean the tower may play in a many many different cases now i'm not saying that you're definitely gonna get pregnant or you're definitely gonna get crushed but within my line of work and with the, within my um experience in a private readings that is the most likely way how they uh how they unfold but as this is a general and cumulative reading that could be they can unfold anyway um, in any possible way so just be prepared for the unexpected and once it happens embrace it do not try to fix it because there is no fixing it there is just rebuilding it and that is not fixing it okay rebuilding it this time around making it much more uh, wide, wider broader and capable rebuild your relationship rebuild your relationship life rebuild your um, interactions and so on and so forth so yeah that being said that was your weekly love tarot reading for june uh july i'm sorry 20th to july 26th hopefully you do enjoy it and you liked it and uh, we may see each other around until then bye